Self-monitoring. I don't know. Um, I was going to count the number of jokes I've done today, but I totally got out of line on that one. Um, just tracking the behavior that you engage in, especially behavior that you don't want to do so you can understand how, how much you're doing it. You would be surprised how much you engage in a behavior that you really don't like. So once you've decided that, hey, this is a behavior I want to change, mm, 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 saying mm, or something like that, I don't know, picking your nose, uh, fucking your teeth, uh, I don't care what it is, you know, telling people F off, you know, randomly down the road, start tracking how much you engage in the behavior. Uh, then you would be surprised um, how much behavior might even change while you're tracking it. So self-monitoring is a way to understand the, the frequency or the current, the rate of behavior that you're engaging in, but in and to itself, it's a technique to reduce your behavior the problem behavior, or increase it if you're trying to increase the behavior. So self-monitoring is an intervention and a tool you use to help design interventions. It's this, it's recursive fun is what it is. It's hilarious, it's awesome, I love it. Self-monitoring is a very cool technique that one would always attempt to use first when you're doing a self-management program.